years old. The height is identical. The weight is identical. With a slight reach advantage going to Sang Tong Noi. So that's why they're able to rack up so many fights by this point. There we go, round number one. Okay, like I said, both of them taking it quite slow. Both orthodox fighters as well, so that makes it a bit slightly easier for both fighters. It's always a nightmare if you end up fighting a southpaw because that's you know, the left ha lefties, the left-handed fighters, because they're just the hardest style to, to fight. You have to change your tactics straight away if you're an orthodox fighter like one of these two. Yeah, despite the traditional format here, the referee will encourage the fighters to compete and pick things up in the first and second round. But like you said, traditionally, they do take those first couple rounds off, try to get a good read on their opponent. A nice teep there from Sang Tong Noi in the red corner. Ole taking it, taking his time. You don't want to get too worried in the first couple of rounds. Just want to kind of find your timing, find your rhythm, find your flow. Take it easy. It's good to use these low kicks, though. They're great range finders. Very good using the low kicks from these two. Yeah, you got to imagine they're going to use those to set some uh, further attacks up later on in the fight as the rounds progress here at Amnoy Stadium. A little bit more aggressive start here for Sang Tong Noi. Doing good with those kicks, but good one two there. Fire back from Ole. Teat there from Sang Tong Noi as well. Yeah, just seems to be the busier of the two in this first round, Sang Tong Noi. But Ole is still trying to have a foot in this fight, if you pardon the pun. Holding center of the ring very well, though, Ole. That's always something that the referees and the judges at ringside take into account. Yeah, the ring, ring control. Mm. You can never tell what's going to happen just by the first round in a fight. Sometimes a fighter hangs back in that first and second round, but they really ting turn things up in the, in the third round. They don't show much, so it could be deceiving if you're not up on the sport and how it works. Yeah, it's one of those things you don't want to give too much away too soon. Of course, you've got some fighters that break the mold. They like to come out and try to finish the fight as early as possible. Usually those are like the Moy Mott punchers. But if you get a traditional knee and clinch fighter, they usually take those first couple rounds off. And there's the end of round one. And then you want to kind of just manage your engine a little bit, not just blow a gasket first round, which is what these two definitely didn't do. Yeah, Muay Thai always uh, being equated more to like a marathon, where they start off slow and then really turn things up in those later rounds. So you got to expect both fighters are going to come out a lot more fired up, and that's what we see so far from Ole. Yeah, you can see the fans in the stadium definitely getting a little bit more excited now from that round one. And it's now when we get into the later rounds now where we start to see more of the clinch. Now, that's where you can determine who's going to be the more stronger fighter of the two. Great elbow there down the middle there from Sang Tong Noi. Yeah, showing a lot of IQ there inside the clinch. Shook up. Ole with that elbow. Oh, another one. Good downward elbow that time from Sang Tong Noi. And it's just those little motions of swimming your arms on the inside in the clinch to create that small opening for an elbow like that. So you just have to take those chances. Good firing back though, great counter there from Ole on the outside, trying to find a home for that right hand for a second time. And down Ole goes, and the referee is giving a count. Oh, it doesn't look like he can stand on that left leg at all. Looks like he's literally just hopping on one leg now. Referee's going to say carry on, and you know exactly what Sykes on Noise did do. Flying knee, and Ole is out. Yeah, what a shot there from Sankt Noy. Wow, we didn't see that coming at all, and I bet we're, we're both eating our own words here in the commentary box saying that you should take it easy in the first two rounds. Sankt Noy just ripping up the scripts and f going airborne with that flying knee, knocking Ole completely out. What a performance there. We'll yeah. get a replay for you very shortly. I'd like to go back and see what that first shot was that hurt Ole. 